So I'm Barb Archer. I'm the commander of the Major Crimes Division. Last name is spelled A-R-C-H-E-R. -E so I'll give you an update real quickly about the incident that happened this morning uh, involving our Lake Littleton and Inglewood police officers. Uh, we're still very fresh in the investigation. It's early. I don't have a lot of pieces of information. I'll give you the pieces that I can at this point. So what I can tell you is that this started as a carjacking. Littleton got a report about just before midnight last night. The man said his car was taken by two males and two females. They fired a shot at him in the process. Uh, Littleton officers are driving down Santa Fe. They see the suspect vehicle uh, down around Arapahoe Community College, down on South Santa Fe. They try to initiate a stop using their lights and siren. The suspect vehicle fails to stop, takes off, traveling northbound on Santa Fe. Uh, the Littleton officers are chasing the vehicle, trying to get it to stop. Our Div Denver Police Dispatch is receiving information from Littleton's dispatch that this chase has started and is heading our way. Uh, at that point, Denver cars are not involved. They're just sharing the information with us. Um, so that was a, just before midnight. So it was about five minutes after they got the call on the carjacking that the officers saw the car on Santa Fe and initiated that stop. They chased the car from that part of Santa Fe down by Rapid Community College uh, up to Santa Fe in Florida. At the time of the carjacking, there were four suspects involved. When they're chasing the car, there are only two people in the car. I don't know what happened to the other occupants between the time of the carjacking and the time when the officers picked up the car. Uh, so the Littleton officers initiated what we call a pit maneuver, which is a forced stop method where we try to purposely hit the car to make it spin out. Uh, the suspects disregarded that, were able to drive away. Another pit maneuver was executed. They continued to drive away. Ultimately, a pit maneuver was successful in stopping the car at the location of Louisiana and Bannock. There were somewhere around three. I don't know total. Uh, we're, this is, like I said, still very early. Uh, at the time of that final stop, the car comes to a stop. Uh, the Officers fired their weapons. We have two adult females. One was struck by bullets and is deceased on scene. Another one was taken to the hospital and is in critical condition at this time. Uh, we still have several interviews to conduct. We're still processing the scene. As you know, we just recently opened Santa Fe. Uh, so we're working our way through the path of the vehicle and trying to determine exactly what happened and make sure we don't miss anything. So, questions? I can't answer that. How many officers fired? I don't know yet. Were any um, officers hit, cars hit, patrol cars hit? I don't know yet. Like I said, we're still processing the scene, and I'm here, and that's out there. So, so you guys are still looking for two males? There were two males and two females involved in the original carjacking that occurred in Littleton. We have the two females, who what we believe are the two females. Any reason? It is not related. They confirmed that. Any chance this is related to the officer who was struck by a car in Littleton earlier this week by a suspect who got away? No, it's not related. Okay. The um, guy who was shot at by, this, by the suspects, did, was he hit? Is he okay? He's okay. He was not hit? Correct. Do we know if officers from both departments struck the suspects? I don't know. No. don't know. When did, when did you say Eagle, Englewood joined in? Somewhere be in between Littleton and Denver. I don't know where. Okay. Was, was, was he stopped? It was the guy that lost the car just stopped at a light in Littleton and then forced him down? I don't know the details on the original carjacking yet. Sorry. And can you take us through really quick one more time, just in a little more detail if you can, at the point where that third pit maneuver happened um, and the suspect vehicle was able to come to a stop? Like the, there was an exchange of fire, or was it just officers shooting at the suspect? I don't know. We're executing, like I said, we're self-processing the scene. We're executing search warrant on the suspect vehicle. I, those are details I just don't have yet. What is an investigation like this like for you when three agencies are involved over such a, you know, expansive So it, it involves a lot of resources, obviously. Uh, we follow our established protocol where the Aurora Police Department comes in and joins us with, in our investigations along with the Denver District Attorney's Office. 
So we do that joint investigation. And at this point, we share the information with Inglewood and with Littleton as appropriate. Denver police arrived on the scene at the time of the shooting? Or no, we were not on not scene yet. yet. Can you say if a weapon was found in the car? I can't. I don't know yet. Okay. I'm sorry, what agencies were there when the shooting happened? Littleton and Inglewood were there. All right. We heard that, that both of those agencies did fire shots, but you're saying you can't. I, don't, I can't confirm that yet. I don't know. Thank okay. You. Thanks.